Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to make yourself a cup of tea, because today we have very interesting stories, and one of them is a story about an OP's aunt who hated OP since childhood and years later tried to steal from her family because they deserve it. Please subscribe if you haven't and I hope you'll enjoy it. For some context all of you here in the UK know that this is a fairly pricey grocery store aimed at middle upper class. Me and my parents rarely go in it unless we have a good coupon or want cakes, as their bakery is utterly delicious and not as pricey as everything else. This happened about a week ago, and recently I had my 21st birthday, and my parents have decided to order me a whole rainbow cake as my birthday cake is a treat, which only cost about 20 pounds, 16 bucks. This cake is always at a high demand as it is one of their best sellers, meaning that the only way you are likely to get one full is if you order it online or come really early to the store. You simply place an order and a cake is reserved for you at a date where you then can pick it up and pay at the store. Simple enough right? I know it comes up as a little childish, but the cake is delicious and I love colors so heck with it. So it was the day before my birthday, and my parents had driven to town, and I came along for the free ride, and at the end of the day, about 5pm, we headed towards the shop to pick up the cake. By the time we had gotten into the shop, and into the little bakery section. We did not see many people around waiting to be served, but we did see a lot of people who had stopped dead in their tracks to watch a lady. I want to say she had the I want to speak to your manager hair, but she didn't really. She looked like the most common middle-aged blonde with no identifiable taste in clothes. Tacky and straight-up ugly. The most memorable thing was most likely her massive nails and the freaking infinite amount of rings on her fingers tacky, fake rings to match her ugly accent. That she waved as she yelled at the employee behind a counter. With her, she had a girl who didn't look over 10 or 12, I can't really tell kids' ages anymore in modern times. I heard an audible sigh from my own mother, who then rolled her eyes. It was a busy day. As we got closer this is the conversation I could make out. What do you mean you don't have rainbow cakes? She yelled. I'm sorry ma'am, we are all out for today. We sold our last daily patch at 2pm. Well go check again you idiot. I need it for my daughter's birthday. It is a special, she elongated words, occasion. As if talking to someone challenged. The child I did not want to pass judgment on until I saw and heard this, the little girl started whining and banging on the counter, it was very tall, so she couldn't reach anything so instead banged on the lower half of it, kicking it and crying. Mommy you promised, I wanted I wanted. I was my unicorn. She then emitted this ugly and high-pitched screech that made my back shiver. Ma'am, please calm down, there is nothing I can do for you. Well then make one, that's what you are here for aren't you? You lazy cow. This country is going to nowhere because lazy people like you get jobs and do nothing useful. She berated the woman. Ma'am, you need to calm down. Don't tell me what to do, you idiot. I'm here to spend money. Go make a new one and make use of yourself. I need it today and not later. Where else do you think I'm going to get a cake for my little princess? By now the EK was thrashing everything about and dropping this and items on the food and picked them out of her mother's basket and chucking them about in protest. Ma'am I am sorry, but we are unable to start baking anything at this hour, and even if I could I do not have the time. The EM continued staring at the employee as if she was an alien, speaking in another language. My mom and I are not pleasant people when we are tired. My mother simply shoves past the woman and approaches the counter. Pushing the woman aside, making her gasp, my stepfather standing between my mother and her. Hello. She said with a smile as the employee wasn't doing anything wrong. I knew my parents were worried that they may have sold the reserved cake, but my mom decided to ask anyway. Excuse me, I heard you said you ran out, but we reserved a cake, and if you still have it, we'd love to pick it up. The employee smiled and said oh miss. My mother noted as the EM stared at the interaction, she tried to yell and ask my mom to move, but she simply ignored her like a bad small in a large room. The employee proceeds to open a second cabinet and take out a box, open it and show a full rainbow cake. Wait, you said you didn't have any you freaking liar. Yes ma'am, we have no available cakes, this one was reserved to be picked up at 5pm today. Looks at my mother and tells her with an angry look listen here, I was here first. This is my daughter's cake. Give it to me. My little darling has her birthday in two days. Well this one is for my daughter's birthday tomorrow, you should have ordered it like I did. 
The EM looked at me with a disguised look you are an adult, what the hell is wrong with you? You're too old for a cake. And you are too old and ugly to throw a tantrum. Excuse me. You heard me, or are you deaf as well as brain challenged? You know that iron look and that move less turn of the neck, where the body stands in one directly like a rock and only the head moves. My mother turned to her and calmly asked in a booming but calm voice. Completely ignoring this conversation. Did you order one online? No, but. Did you wait here? What, but you're freaking. I'll take that as an uneducated no, I'm not giving you crap and your spoiled idiot can move on with it. Learn how to shut your idiot's mouth too. Do not tell me how to pair. The kid was now crying and screeching. My mother turns to the whining kid and yells at her, in a booming voice that shook the room. Shut up you spoiled idiot, the kid visibly spooks and turns dead silent, all color drained out of its face. Looking at her with a most terrified look in her eyes, not even crying. Only stared at her like a deer in headlights. My mother turned back to the employee and said with a smile will, that be 20 pounds. She nodded her head in a yes and thanked her for the payment and ordering the cake online. The entitled mother then suddenly tried to push past mine and grab the cake on the counter. My father's shoulder rose out of reflex to get in the way, but luckily during the conversation and shuffled closer, close enough to harshly step forward towards the gap in between, ride onto the EM's foot making her yelp and look down onto her broken front heel. You big idiot. She yelled. I smiled and said oh, my bad. Shouldn't have gotten in the way. You stepped on me. I sure did I replied with a smile and moved away as my mother started walking away. The woman tried to chase after us, but couldn't as she had a small imp and her child just tired up a little. Honestly, maybe that will teach her a little more humility and an appropriate way to be upset, rather than throwing a tantrum. My mother would have grounded me if I ever pulled something like that as a kid. I want to say I hope that kid learned a lesson and doesn't grow up to be like that, but I highly doubt it. At least I got my cake and had a great birthday, and now have a fun story to tell. Oh poor thing, she broke her heel while trying to steal your birthday cake. What a shame. Of course her kid's wish is more important than anything else. To be honest, I can't believe people can do such crazy things to indulge their kids. My aunt who I'll be referring to as SB, stupid idiot, is one of the worst people I've ever met. She doesn't just believe the world revolves around her. She basically believes that she is the world. She has this super toxic my word is law attitude because she's the only religious person left in the family. From what I heard the rest of the family would often cave into her endless whining and demands just to get her to shut up. That was until the newest generation came along, as in me, my two siblings, my twin cousins who are both girls, and my one male cousin who's the same age as me. SB also had a daughter, but I don't recognize her as a family member because she's also a piece of an idiot. We were all born around the same time, that being 2000 to 2003. My guess is the moment we came into the picture, the whole family went into defense mode and raised us to not make the same mistake they did with SB and taught us differently. That being, don't take any crap from this crazy idiot and her kid. SB didn't like any of us from the start solely because we weren't religious. This is where the first encounter comes into play. My parents had cut contact with SB a few months before I was born because she wouldn't leave my mom alone. She kept hounding her over the importance of teaching your children about him and whatnot. So when my parents revealed to SB that they were not like her and would be raising me well I won't choose what to believe by myself. SB had a meltdown over the news and demanded that my parents teach me. They laughed in her face and then of course cut her off. A month before I was born, SB's husband divorced her. He was a perfectly sane individual and just couldn't put up with SB's crap anymore. Everything he did had to revolve around making her happy. This sent SB over the edge. The rest of the family had not yet cut her off, but they were distant regardless. With nobody to direct her anger at her boss around, she decided to lash out at my parents once again. I was three the day she pulled up in our driveway and started pounding on the door, demanding to see her nephew, me. She didn't get her wish, and my dad told SB through the locked front door that he would call the police if she didn't leave. SB went into a freaking frenzy while her own daughter watched her from the car. I mean this adult lady was jumping up and down, throwing herself against the door all while screaming and crying. SB ends up exhausting herself and stumbles back to my car while cursing my parents out. Apparently she said she hopes that I won't live to be four. 
my own aunt wished that on me. My parents filed a restraining order and that was the last time they ever saw SB and her kid for seven years. All growing up during that time period, me and my siblings who were two years younger than me were always told that if a woman named SB ever came to the house and they weren't home, we were to not answer her and call the police. Fast forward to 2010. At this point I'm 10 years old, born in 2000, and both my siblings are 8 years old. It was Christmas Eve and the majority of my family was at my aunt and uncle's house. Not SB, but the aunt on my mom's side who I actually respect. My mom was one of four children, SB being the youngest. SB was going to be at the Christmas party this year, and my parents were very hesitant to take us because SB's comments were still fresh in their minds. I had no idea who SB or her daughter who I'll just call EK were at the time. The moment my aunt laid eyes on me, she gave me this disgusted look that sent me running the other way. She did the same thing with my siblings. The whole damn party all SB did was talk about how amazing EK was and got angry whenever someone tried to talk about something else. She had this awful how dare you not pay attention to me. Attitude. Still does today. Along with this she would whine and moan about my aunt and uncle and not accommodating to EK's desires. She single-handedly ruined the whole mood of the party and made everyone miserable. EK didn't bother me until later that night at dinner. Remember when I said that SB was crazy? Well she spread that same poison into her daughter's mind. I'm glad that SB's husband is free from her, but at the same time EK has nobody around to teach her right from wrong. There was no grace at dinner, which SB was furious about. So who do SB and EK decide to take this out on? That's right, the kids. Right before I was about to eat, EK asks aren't you gonna pray? Not knowing how to respond, I just shove mashed potatoes in my mouth. EK gasps like I just did something terrible. SB opens her mouth to say something, but instead just glares at me. She stared daggers at me and my siblings the whole damn dinner. She throws her whole plate out afterwards, and when my uncle asks her why she says, I think I lost my appetite in this really accusatory tone. After dinner me and my siblings went to play on the Y with our cousins upstairs. SB and EK watch us from afar, and being an oblivious kid I think nothing of it. I see SB whisper something to EK, and she gets this big grin on her face. I keep playing until I feel EK shove me from behind. I fall over and EK goes into a long tirade of name calling and other hurtful crap. Calling me big and stupid and telling me my mom must have done a crappy job raising me if I turned out like this. I looked at SB for helping and the idiot recording while laughing. I couldn't believe my eyes. My own aunt who up until now I thought of as family was laughing as her daughter bullied me and my siblings. EK was 4 years older than me so there really wasn't much I could do. However, my mom wasn't having it. She heard the crap EK was saying and stormed upstairs. My mom flings open the door, sees my aunt recording the whole thing and screams, what the hell are you doing? Side note, SB is terrified of my mom. She's a foot shorter and not athletic at all. I guess SB was intoxicated and her normal fear of my mom didn't really apply in this situation because when my mom asked SB if she was gonna punish Ek for picking on us, SB smirked and said why would I punish my daughter for telling the truth. With that, my mom gripped SB by the hair and dragged her downstairs. I heard a loud crash and then sobbing from SB. Her and EK left immediately. I heard from my older cousin years later that my mom had dragged SB into the kitchen and did something that made SB lose some of her teeth. A lot of you might consider this an extreme overreaction and maybe it was. But to be honest I'm very glad my mom did that. She defended her children and EK never tried that crap again for years after witnessing what happened to her mom. After this incident SB despised me, my siblings and my three cousins made it a personal mission to come after us at any family gathering. From this incident to 2015 I only ever had small run-ins with SB and her daughter, almost always at family events. BK learned quickly that I wouldn't just sit back and let her pick on me after I punched her at a summer party for calling one of my cousins stupid idiot. Another incident occurred when my aunt followed my sister around and called her an easy girl for wearing a normal tank top. My sister said I might be like that, but at least I'm not a stuck-up idiot like you. SB ran to my dad and complained about my sister's behavior, screaming about how she wasn't ladylike. My dad laughed and told her to cry about it to someone who cared. During this time period my aunt was basically losing her mind. 
Before me and my siblings came along, she got whatever she wanted and everyone listened to her. But now that there's a bunch of rowdy teens in the family, she's finding that her previously unchallenged entitlement means absolutely nothing, and she hates us for it. There were a bunch of small incidents that occurred between 2013 to 2015. The big one happened in January 2015, when a big family reunion was hosted at our house, including SB and EK. My parents only invited them because they assumed my aunt and her daughter had learned from past mistakes that we were not to be taken lightly and wouldn't hesitate to retaliate against their behavior. We thought wrong. SB and EK arrived very early. I greeted them at the door and they didn't even acknowledge me. This didn't surprise me though, because they've done this before. At this point I was 15 and my siblings were 13, making EK 19. She still hadn't moved out and her mother completely coddled her. She was spoiled as hell and got everything she wanted. My parents made it very clear that neither of them were allowed in our rooms. SB scoffs at this and says the rule is stupid. My parents don't care and tell SB that if she has a problem she can leave. The rest of the family arrives and SB spends the whole time pouting in the corner. Me and my brother notice that EK is gone and start to panic. That's when our sister whispers to us that she saw EK sneak upstairs. We go up and lo and behold, EK is in my brother's room trying to steal his computer. She's unplugging the wires and tugs it free from the wall. We stay quiet and plan to jump on her when she's walking out until we hear, did you get that stupid computer yet? From down the hall. This crap was freaking planned. The only reason they even came to the reunion was so they could steal from us. My brother loses his cool and starts screaming at EK to put it back and get the hell out. SB waffles over and screams right back at us, saying they deserved the computer and said it's the least you can do for being who you are. My sister starts shouting for my parents and receives a hard slap from SB. All freaking hell breaks loose. She screams and rams into me, knocking me to the floor. My mom, my dad and two of my eldest cousins who are both huge guys come barreling up the stairs and tackle SB who was on top of me. My mom starts defending me while my dad and cousins restrain EK and have to pry the computer console out of her hands. My mom stops wailing on SB who now has a black eye. She gets up and starts shrieking about how she's gonna sue. My mom tells her to go ahead and try and also that if she ever comes back she will regret this. SB flees the house while dragging her 19-year-old daughter who's in the middle of a tantrum. Night goes on as usual after that. That about wraps it up. I haven't seen SB and EK in 4 years and hopefully I never have to see them again. If I do have another run in with them, I hope it ends with me slamming the front door in SB's face while she's begging for money. I can't believe the audacity of that woman. She treated OP and her family like nothing and not only them. I don't understand how that woman hasn't learned her lessons from all these situations. It's a mystery. Well guys, that's it for today. If you end up enjoying this video please consider subscribing, and if you missed the last episode on the channel I'm gonna link it right here, the story is about an OP's very smart and talented friend who's in a wheelchair, and a woman who is sure this girl doesn't deserve to be where she was. Check this out if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video.